Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're back again with another video. Let's go ahead and give you guys a little close start. How's everybody doing today? Hope you all are doing well. People who are new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Um, my name is Mikey, as you can tell, obviously. Um, I make DIYs and, you know, vlogs and car videos and stuff on a S4 B8.5 that I currently own. Um, a lot of these things that I do in videos that I make does apply for like S5s and other platforms that have similar engines and transmission too. So, um, if you find my videos helpful for you, you know, go ahead and, you know, take the advantage. But, um, that's what the platform is here to do is spread positivity um kind of help each other out like these videos don't really do much for me i just enjoy making them doing them um so i appreciate and thank you to all the people who's been watching since day one um thank you to all the people who are stopping by checking out the videos now um i just want to go ahead and talk about the dsg mechatronic issue that happens on these s4s s5 even s6 and other like audi classes i can't name them um exactly but you guys you can find the info out there um but yeah let's go ahead and uh warm up the car let me take a drive real quick and uh, we'll talk about it going on world um so yeah i just want to go ahead and talk about the uh dsg mechatronic issue dual clutch gearbox direct shift gearbox to be exact is why it's called dsg um but yeah no there's no issues none of that stuff i don't want to scare anybody so don't trip um I'm, I'm just starting to see a lot of people entering the platform here for entering s4 s5 s6 um i think the dsg are in um, a lot of the A's as well so uh, I'm not entirely sure you guys can definitely find that out on the internet Google is your best friend but um yeah I figured because I came across a post yesterday where somebody um, had like a uh, DSG transmission lawsuit um, and and I guess it sticked so then we, we won guys so that's that's a good news so that's a big news so anybody who's watching it right now and and have paid tons of money for these fucking dsg knows exactly what i'm talking about um yeah so guys there you gotta go you gotta go look it up check your mail a lot of people are getting in their mail um i hear it applies to used ones as well so uh look into it some more you thank me later um, but let's get to the video though. Let's, let's talk about the uh, DSG Megatronic issue. So, um, yes, I have encountered the issue when I got the car two years ago. Um, and when I bought the car, service was done. It was done twice because I got around like 70 something, 80,000 miles. It was done twice at Audi. So I was like, you know what? Cool. I'm going to snag it. And plus, um, long story short, it's in 2014 so i'm assuming that 2014 15 16 well 2013 14 15 16 um a lot of the dsg issues has been addressed um so i was like you know what i'm safe to go i'll be good then maintenance are done you know service is done and uh it's a 14 so you know i'll be good to go got it a couple months later um ran into the damn issue during a road trip actually well not really a road trip just like a trip to freaking pa um which is like four or five hours from where i am right now and um yeah long story short shit happened to me there uh got the car back home and did a whole transmission swap whatever you guys can check out the videos if you go down my videos and, and search you find um a lot of these transmission issues that i dealt with 
with and did. That's actually what started the whole YouTube channel for me. So uh, shout out to the people who's been watching it since day one, man. Um, I don't know. I just kind of like I, it. Just stuck to me. Like I just always like to make YouTube videos. So I guess that was an opportunity. And uh, along the way, I'm just learning shit about the car, passing on information, and whatever I can fix, I would try to uh, do a DIY and help out um, people who are in, in, in the platform or entering the platform. You know what I mean? It's all about passing, passing along the positivity, passing ooh S2K, passing along the um, knowledge and value. You know what I mean? Like these these videos won't really do much for me at all i just enjoy making these videos and like it's fun to document and like look back later on like a history piece you know what i mean like i don't know just like a memory thing not history what am i talking about it'll be like a memory type of whatever um let me turn off my valve it's probably bothering you guys there you go um so yeah uh i don't want to scare anybody no they're great cars the transmissions are solid it's just that there's a few little things that I've gathered along the way um, of my ownership of this car and when I encountered the issue, there wasn't a lot of information. That's kind of why I started making the videos about it because, bro, like, I went and dig everywhere for information how to fix that shit from, like, different forums to different groups to talking to different people. Shout out to all those people who's, uh... Who, 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 who tried to help me out when I had an issue as well. I forget you guys for sure. Like, um, all them guys were like, yo, let me try to help you find the transmission, whatever. Um, it was definitely a lot cheaper then. Um, but yeah, long story short, uh, so the service is done by Audi, but the car is so picky, the transmission is so picky, there's two filters in these transmission there's one external and then there's one internal um so the proper way to really change the to do the dsg service for these transmissions is you really have to drop the pan and obviously put a new gasket and then that's then once you drop the pan you will see the uh internal filter sitting right there it's big like you can't miss it then you can just take it out a um, couple o-rings you gotta replace as well i think well, I'm sure there's a couple O-rings. I think there might be one or two more pieces you gotta like replace, or you should once you're in there. And then you put a new, put that new filter in, new gasket in, new gasket on the pan, put the pan back up. Um, depending on your uh, transmission pan bolt, how many times you took it off, put new ones on to be safe. And then uh, put the proper DSG fluid, like you must put proper DSG fluid. You can't, you it cannot have regular automatic transmission fluid and it has to it has to be the same exact code part number and whatnot or else you're gonna fuck that shit up and i've i've came across some posts on forums of people doing that and ruining the transmission uh places just didn't know you know what i mean so i'll drop a link down below go ahead and get your kit from fcp euro um, it's lifetime warranty, so why not? You know what I mean? Because you're going to have to do it every 30, 35K. So I'm going to do mine around like 25, 30K. I'm actually going to do mine soon. Um, so that's why, I, that's why I was like, you know what? I'm going to make this video. But um, yeah. So this, with, I, with the info I kind of gathered, my assumption for mines is that uh, when Brad has taken it apart, it didn't seem like they've ever taken the transmission pan apart like out like the bolts they didn't even take the bolts out we didn't see signs of uh, the bolts being taken out which that doesn't really indicate anything you know what i mean but um yeah once we did take the uh transmission pan drop the transmission pan transmission pan um the oil the filter seemed to be clogged inside and at first i did the circuit board because thinking like the circuit board might have like caused some issue that fixed it for about like 24 hours and then boom right back to the same issue um but my 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 experience was i lost a couple gears i believe it was second fifth sixth and reverse um so yeah i lost a few of those gears and i was still able to drive it but it will fucking skip hard bro like it, it will shift hard when it goes into the next gear and uh, i was like you know i was so pissed bro i drove from i made it to delaware so i stopped by delaware audi and they were trying to charge me for a mech or transmission because they didn't know what the fuck was going on 
So I'm like, you know what? I'm not playing this type of game. Um, I hopped in and drove that shit back home four hours away, bro. I was like, you know, what? I'm just gonna take the risk, drove that shit all the way home. Um, thank you to Master Tech, Brad. Shout out to him. Uh, we 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 did a couple things, and then I came. It came down to it. I was like, you know what? I didn't know what it was. I didn't want to gamble and and spend a, a amount of a Megatronic, which was like three four K, because like I said, in 2010 to 2012 there's so much things that can happen inside the transmission aside from the mechatronic so don't just go go don't just go and replace your mechatronic whenever you experience a dsg issue or malfunction look into it some more because there are a lot of other things that can go wrong like with mine for example my gear selector sensor went out so that's inside the transmission and apparently that's pretty common for 14s and 15s because they have addressed a lot of the other issue but that was like one of the things that can still go wrong um so that was so i'm thinking like okay so now i'm still believing that my mechatronic my other transmission isn't bad it's just the gear selector sensor but to do that job is pretty intensive like i've heard you gotta take it apart and reseal it and all this crazy crap i'm pretty sure brad could have done it uh we might actually do it one day i've talked to him about it he said hey you don't mind he's never done it but hey shit we can crack it open play around and try to document it and see what we can get some tips and tricks so that way i can pass the knowledge along in the video so it'll fucking live forever on youtube you know what i mean but yeah pat like leave that knowledge and, and info out there on youtube forever so that way it helps out the next generation because i believe these cars are gonna live forever bro they're they're pretty solid like you hear that whine Um, but yeah, so my gear selector went out. I don't think so much it was my Megatronic. I mean, it, could, it probably could be my Megatronic, um, but the gear selector seemed to went out. I did my homework on it. It was like $150 piece, but to do the job is intensive, like I said. Um, so be aware of that, guys. The gear selector can go out, and I feel like it's because fluids are running around it, and if you don't do the if, if, if it because like these oil gets hot around all of these electrical components wires and sensors and connectors and shit inside that's why the service manual said you got to do around like 30 35 thousand miles but i'm gonna do mine around like 25 even 20 depending on maybe 25 i'm, I'm like five thousand miles away from doing it five five to ten thousand miles away from doing it so i'm gonna do it real soon just to be in the safe side but I, I assume that you know like the oil gets gets hot and old and especially people who beat on it or you know drive that shit to the ground it puts a lot of wear on it you know what i mean and not only that but the clutch packs goes out on them too so there are other things that can go out but long story short if you do address the um dsg service properly you won't encounter these issues as far as i know so if you do it early you put the right fluid in the right measurement the right temperature you definitely can't overfill and underfill either you gotta like have it done properly like just go get it done at audi and tell them like hey yo can you can you do the full proper dsg service where like you drop the transmission pan with a new gasket and internal filter and whatnot they should know and like i said there's a letters that are coming out now to people who are, are um who've encountered the dsg issue so um yay give me some money bro i spent mad freaking money on that shit um but hopefully it helped out a lot of people because man on the forums and stuff and 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 a lot of people i've met spent so much money and that's kind of like the thing that was driving people away making people scared but other than that they're freaking great cars you take you take you do the right maintenance you take care of them properly then you're good to go like you notice every time i drive my car or start it up um i kind of let my transmission warm up for like 15 20 minutes maybe like at least 15 20 minutes so the oil inside can can warm up the clutch packing can you know warm up and grab better or whatever you know just drive around chilling um and then get on it later i feel like that would kind of like save the transmission um but let's see here i'm at 109,000 miles now I drive this shit everywhere bro like everywhere we're gonna drive it more everywhere now that's the point of buying the cars i drive this shit everywhere uh, especially car meets and stuff like that are like hours away and whatever um so it's been about i want to say twenty thousand miles now 
with the new transmission and oil and whatnot. Um, I bought a used one online at the time two years ago from like a 2016 or 15, I can't remember, um, with matching code and whatever. And I uh, got the DSG kit, had Brad do it. If you want to go check out that video, you might be able to find some helpful tips and stuff for you guys on there. Um, but yeah, so I'm about 20,000 miles in and I'm dual pulley file tuned right now with 034 Motorsports with the DSG tune and it's been great, shifts great. Um, so uh, I hope this video helped somebody out. I don't want to scare anybody who's getting into the car or who owns the car. Um, I'm just trying to give you a heads up in a way so that uh, we can keep these cars freaking bulletproof and beastie, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know if like that will 100% prevent it but that will help it a lot i suppose you know what i mean um i did own a b8 6mt prior to my s4 b8.5 uh, 14 dsg right now but when i sold it i was like you know what i really want to try dsg because i've driven like my friends with dual clutch dct's i'm like you know what like, i just want to chill bro uh, like, you know what it seems nice to chill because it's, it's like a a freaking manual without a without a uh without you having to mess with a clutch and you know like timing your your and all that stuff and it shifts super fast you know what i mean and plus it's the four door you know what i mean like i did have my fair share and fun with the b8 6mt i actually got bored um and i really hated the fucking delay the the fucking delays in certain gears the, the manual guys know what i'm talking about no offense it's still fun as fuck banging through them damn gears um but when i sold the car i was like you know what nothing can match and compare to the s4 so i was like you know what combine the dsg fast shifting direct shifting gearbox with a all-around car um sport diff supercharger power right from the gate that's like a straight chilling daily car you know what i mean like that's why i drive this shit everywhere um but you know i'm never getting out the manual game for sure I'm, I'm i'm gonna grab like a fucking something va stick maybe a vet give me like a zr01 or a z06 or something i need like a v8 it'll be a, this can be a daily another one can be like going sideways and shit for fun um but yeah enough of that um oh if you guys made it this far since we were talking about transmission i'm gonna give away a uh, transmission mount from ecs tuning um this is like an extra lane around you know just dr drop a comment down below say uh say claim claim insert mount so i would know first one to say claim insert mount if you made it this far you're a true fan you really watched it i'm giving this away to you drop message me i'll ship it out to you no cost at all um you can do whatever you want with it sell it whatever um I just feel like I want to give this away to you guys since we're talking about transmission and all that shit. So here you go. I want to give away this to you guys. I will be doing more giveaways once I have more bread and shit like that. Let's be real. Um, YouTube ain't really doing much for me. You know what I mean? Let's be real. But um, I'm giving this away to you guys right now. Drop a comment down below. In claim insert mount. First one to say it. I'm shipping it out to you. Um, but yeah, that's all I want to talk about, guys. Um, go ahead and do your homework about the transmission and there's other things too but a lot of other things are just like wear and tear that's common like you know change your spark plugs and shit like that um, these cars are overall bulletproof solid but um, the neglection of the transmission issue the neglection of the DSG services what makes these cars um, have a bad rep in a way and whatnot um, I've done tons of hours of my homework. Um, leave a comment down below. I mean, fill in more information. Help out help out the community. You know what I mean? I might have not gotten everything down now. Because um, I'm like driving, trying to talk and recording. That's why I'm always like recording with a GoPro in my head. Because you don't want to like get distracted, bro. It, it gets dangerous. Both hands on the steering wheel. I'm shifting. Like Even though it's not a manual, I'm still using the paddles. I enjoy using the paddles. But, you know, be safe out there, guys. Don't do stupid shit. Um... I appreciate all you guys who are watching. Like I said, appreciate the people who's been here since day one. 
Um, thank you for people who are new tuning in, checking out my videos and whatnot. Um, I'm just a regular guy trying to document memories with my cars and pass along knowledge and information on uh, you know things I find out and things I've encountered and what I can do to fix it and conclusion and, and shit like that. You know what I mean? So um, yeah. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell button. Stay tuned when I drop something new. Hopefully I drop something. Hopefully I drop more crazy stuff when I get the car faster for summertime. But, you know, shit takes time. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm out, you guys. Peace out.